We're joined here by David Niosi, is that correct? That's right. David Niosi, the author of Nonbeliever Nation here at TAM. How you doing, David? Very good. Now, this you were telling me this is your first TAM, right? Yes, it is. So, what brought you here? Well, I actually came originally because of a panel discussion that I got invited to participate in on uh, coalition building in the skeptic community. So, uh, when I found out I was coming, I uh, talked to the AHA. I'm president of the American Humanist Association. So, I uh, talked to the home office and we figured it would be a good idea to table here. So, after doing the panel discussion on Thursday, I've been spending a lot of time at the table with this, all this AHA stuff behind us here. Now, tell us a little bit about what happened on the panel. How did it go, uh, in your opinion? Very good, I think. Uh, the audience seemed to really enjoy it. Uh, I think coalition building is a big issue in the movement nowadays. If you're familiar with the secular movement and the uh, skeptic movement over the years, it's been kind of diversified. There have been a lot of groups that really haven't worked together very much, all doing their own thing. But in recent years, that hasn't been the case so much. Uh, groups have been coming together and uh, finding reasons to work together. And I think we've been a lot more effective because of it. Ten years ago, you really didn't hear the term uh, secular movement, but today you do because groups are working together. Now tell us a little bit about your book. We've got uh, advanced copies here. Nonbeliever Nation, how did this come about? Or tell me a little bit about it. Okay. Well, yeah, Nonbeliever Nation is coming out on uh, Tuesday, July 17th is the release date. So here at TAM, these are pre-release copies. But uh, Yet another well, reason to come to TAM. Yes, you get stuff that you just can't get anywhere else. Uh, just one more special benefit of TAM, yeah. But uh, it's a, basically a book about the culture wars, and more specifically, the secular movement's role in the culture wars. Uh, if you look at it historically, uh, the opposition to the religious right since the 1980s has really mainly been religious uh, liberal groups uh, and uh, uh, politicians claiming to be religious, never really paying much attention to the secular demographic. So uh, what Nonbeliever Nation talks about is how the secular demographic has emerged in recent years to uh, be a new opposition to the religious right and hopefully something that can... Uh, uh, push back the tide of uh, social conservatism that's been taking over American politics and culture. Great. And if people can fi want to find out more about the book and about you and about uh, what American humanist humanists are up to, where can they go? Do you get a website, I assume? Oh, sure. Well, the American Humanist Association website is AmericanHumanist.org, and the book is available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and all the major booksellers. If you Google Nonbeliever Nation, uh, you'll get brought right to it. So check it out, everybody. David, best of luck on the book and everything you're doing. Thank and you very much. Thank you for coming. Okay, thank you.